Hello all, welcome to my channel. Today class we are going to learn the ninth chapter that is about the Gandhiji and the freedom struggle. There was a huge crowd at Vaikam Kwai and along the shore of the Kain. My fellow students and I somehow managed to wade through the crowd. I could spot Gandhiji in the boat even from a distance. The mob roared like the sea. Mahatma Gandhi ki jai. The half-naked Fakir smiled, revealing his toothless gum. Greeting the mob, we alighted and slowly got into an open car. The car slowly made its way through the crowd to the Satyagraha Ashram. Amidst the com uh, commotion, I longed for something strange. I earned to touch the revered Mahatma. I felt I would be, I would die if I don't. What if someone notices I grew nervous? I gently touched his right shoulder. I staggered and caught his wrist to steady myself. Gandhiji smiled at me. That evening I rushed home and proudly said to my mother, Ma, I touched Gandhiji. Adapted from Amma, an autobiographical extract from Orma Krupa by Vaikam Muhammad Bashir. Gandhiji's visit to Kerala to inspire the Vaikam Satyagraha was a memorable incident in Vaikam Muhammad Bashir's life. We have discussed the moderate and extreme, extreme phases of the Indian national movement. The third phase of the national movement began with the arrival of Gandhiji. The period between 19, 1990 and 1947 when Gandhiji led the movement is known as the Gandhian phase. Gandhiji's entry into the national movement. After an even, eventful stay in South Africa for many years, Gandhiji returned to India on 9th January 1915. He traveled the length and breadth of the country to discover India and to discern the problems of Indians. Gandhiji led an exemplary life of simplicity. He interacted with common people in their language. He devised a unique method of non-violent resistance known as Satyagraha. He established the Sabarmati Ashrama at Ahmedabad in Gujarat for the propagation of his ideas. The leadership of Gandhiji led to massive participations of people in the national movement. Satyagraha. Satyagraha means holding the truth firmly. It is founded on the principle of non-violence. The Satyagrahi condemns sin but does not condemn the sinner. Satyagrahi believes that the concerns of the sinner can be awakened. Earlier Movements the first track led by Gandhiji in India was the Champaran Satyagraha in 1970. It was against exploitation of the indigo farmers of Champaran in Bihar by the British planters. As a result, the British were compelled to adopt measures that brought relief to the farmers. In 1918, Gandhiji led another strike for the wage hike of cotton mill workers in Ahmedabad. It was the first hunger strike ever employed by Gandhiji in India. In the same year, Kheda in Gujarat was struck by the natural calamity and there was an immense crop failure. The peasants of Kheda appealed to the British government for the tax relaxation. Appeal was rejected by the authorities and Gandhiji called a strike for non-payment of tax. How do the strategies of the earlier movements led by Gandhiji differ from that of the extremist movements? Prepare a note on the based discussion. For civil rights, firing of machine gun into crowds, arrested people ordered to crawl, handcuffing of people in pairs and pa uh, parading them on public roads, commandeering of vehicles owned by Indians, flogging of men in public, confiscation of property, flogging of the biggest school boys because they happen to be bigger than other boys, removal of fans from Indian homes and giving them for use to Europeans, handcuffing and robbing people together and exhibiting them in the public places. See the collage. From this collage, we can understand that human, inhuman treatment of Indians by the British government. The British authorities implemented several unjust laws that didn't civil rights to the Indians. Among them, the Rowlett Act triggered mass protests. The act authorized the government to arrest an Indian without an any warrant. Detain any Indian indefinitely without trial. Conduct trials in special tribunals. 
deny the right of appeal petition. People intensely oppose the act by organizing marches, hunger strikes, demonstrations, public meetings and civil disobedience. Gandhiji called for a countrywide protest observing 6th April 1919 as a black day. The whole nation responded with a hitherto unseen zest. In public, the leaders of the protest, Dr. Satyabal and Dr. Saifuddin Kichlov, were arrested. A public meeting was held at Jaliamala Bagh in protest. Jaliamala Bagh was a spacious public ground surrounded by walls on three sides with a narrow exit. The British soldiers fired at the unarmed crowd. More than 1,000 people were killed and many more were injured. Army did not permit any more anyone to nurse the wounded, to give them water or to remove the dead bodies. This dreadful event is known as the Jaliamala Bagh massacre in protest, Gandhiji relinked, Gandhiji relinquished the title Kaiser e Hind, confirmed by the British government. Rabindranath Tagore renounced the title of Sir, conferred by the British. Countrywide protests were organized. What was the approach of the British government towards the peaceful and non-violence protests? Evaluate in the contents of the Jallianwal Bagh Mazak. Prepare a script to enact, enact the Jallianwal Bagh Mazak. The young Udham Singh, Udham Singh was a witness to the Jallianwal Bagh Mazak. Years later, he went to England and shot dead Michael O'Dyer, but ordered the Mazak. Singh was executed on 31st July 1914. Khilafat movement. The supreme leader of Osmania or the Ottoman Empire, based in Turkey was known as the Caliph. The Caliph was also regarded as a spiritual leader of Muslims the world over. During the First World War, the Turkey joined the alliance opposing Britain. Khilafat movement was formed to protest against the injustice done to the Caliph in the war by the British. The leaders of the Khilafat movement in India were Maulana Shavkat Ali and Maulana Muhammad Ali. They are known as the Ali brothers. Gandhiji believed that the Khilafat movement would strengthen the solidarity formed among Hindus and Muslims during the Rawal attack movement. He extended his full support and cooperation to the movement. Accepted the presidentship of the All India Khilafat Committee. Khilafat Day was observed all over India on 17th October 1990. What are the factors that motivated Gandhiji to extend his support to the activities of Khilafat movement? Non-cooperation movement. Non-cooperation movement was a mass protest conducted by the Indian National Congress under the leadership of Gandhiji. It was a special session of the Indian National Congress held at Calcutta in 1920 that approved the non-cooperation movement. In his letter to the Viceroy, heralding the non-cooperation movement, Gandhiji asserted the right re uh, recognized from time immemorial to the subject of, to refuse to assist a rule who misrules. Non-cooperation movement was carried out at two levels by boycotting and through constructive programs. Boycott, boycotting foreign clothes, non-payment of tax, resigning jobs and renouncing honors, boycotting courts, non-cooperative agitation strategies. Hindu-Muslim unity, eradication of untouchability, popularization of Qadi, establishment of national schools. Prepare placards incorporating the ideas related to the non-cooperation movement. Let's see what happened in Kerala when such protests and movements were being organized all over the country. Malabar Rebellion The Malabar Rebellion in 1921 was a remarkable anti-British rebellion in Kerala. The tenants of Malabar faced several acts injustice from the landlords like eviction from agriculture land, imposition of heavy taxes and unaffordable share of the net agriculture produce. Patam. The British officials supported such actions of the landlords. This coincided with the non-cooperation movement and Khilafat movement becoming active in Kerala. Gandhiji visited Kerala with Maulana Shaukat Ali. Khilafat movement and the annual congress session in Manjeri in 1920 created an awakening among the farmers. 
Majority of the farmers were Mapulas or Muslims. At the peak of the anti-British anti and anti-landlord resentment, the people denied the police who arrived at a arrest what a capital Muhammad, the then secretary of the Pukotur Khilafat Committee. There also spread a rumor that Ali Musliyar, a leader of the Khilafat movement, was arrested. It led to the outbreak of rebellion in the taluks of Aranat, Valuanad and Panani. The rebels were also furious of landlords who assisted the British. Leaders Ali Musliyar and Varian Kunnathar, Kunya Ahmad Haji were executed by the British. Wagon Treasury Around 90 fighters who had been arrested in the Mapula rebellion were dispatched to Kambiatu from Thiru railway station stuffed into Freyd, that is goods wagon. Gasping for air, they crawled at each other in tormenting agony. By the time the wagon reached Podhanur near Coimbatore, 72 had died and the rest were struggling to stay alive. This inhuman event that happened on our 10th November 1921, it is known as what wagon tragedy. A British brut brutally suppressed the mass movements against landlordism and unjust administration. The British government brutally suppressed the struggles for freedom. Analyze the statement in the backdrop uh, of the Balaba Rebellion and prepare note. Caricature of the Wagon Tragedy. Compare the pictures that Jalim Bagh Massacre 1990, Amritsar in Punjab, protects against travel attack. Next is about the Chauri Chaura incident. In 1922, the farmers of Chauri Chaura village in Uttar Pradesh organized a demonstration against the harsh measures of, of the British. The police opened fire at the procession of around 3,000 unarmed farmers. The angry mob retaliated by burning down the police station, which resulted in the death of 22 policemen. Gandhiji called off the non-cooperation movement completely as the incident violated the principles of non-violent resistance. Next is about the Vaikam Satyagraha. The national movement evolved into a platform that opposed the social inequalities and strengthened the freedom struggle. Extending support of the Vaikam Satyagraha is the processions of Savarnas, led by Manath Patmanabhan set out from the Vaikam temple to Tiruvandavuram on 1st November 1924. They submitted a memorandum to Maharani Sedu Lakshmi by requesting the opening of all roads to the Vaikam temple to all irrespective of the religion and caste. Avarnas were not allowed to use the public roads around the Vaikam temple. Vaikam Satyagraha in 1924 urged for freedom of movement along these public roads for all sessions of the society. In connection with the Satyagraha, Manath Patmanabhan led the famous Savarna Jada. Vaikam Satyagraha was a remarkable movement in India against the practice of untouchability in public places. In the beginning of the chapter, we are read about the visit of Gandhiji to Vaikam to support the Satyagraha. Prepare a note on it. Fearless of the hangman's rope. Parallel to Gandhian strategies, strategies served several armed struggles were also organized during this period. Leaders like Chandrasekhar Asad, Bhagat Singh, Rajaguru and Sukhdev formed the Hindustan Republican Association that aimed at preparing the youth of freedom struggle. They became martyrs for the cause. Chandrasekhar Asad, Bhagat Singh, Rajaguru, Sukhdeva. A pinch of salt challenges and empire. Congress session held at Lahore in 1929 decided to launch the civil disobedience movement under the leadership of Gandhiji. The aim of the movement was to disobey the unjust laws imposed by the British government. Indian had to pay a tax for making salt. The doubling of the salt tax by the British government fueled the wrath of the people. Gandhiji realized that salt can be used as a weapon to organize a stronger mass movement. He decided to disobey the salt law. Declaring the salt satyagraha, Gandhiji said, Either I shall return with what I want or my dead body will float in this ocean. Accompanied by 78 followers, Gandhiji set out from the Sabamadi Ashrama and reached Dandi March Beach by marching 375 km on foot. On 6 April 1930, he launched the disobedience movement 
by taking a handful of salt. The salt came to symbolize the civil disobedience movement in the Indian freedom movement. Kerala is in Dendi March. Sikh Krishna Nayar, Taito Shankaran uh, Shankar and Raghavan Pothuwal were the Kerala's who participated in the salt satyagraha with Gandhiji. Civil disobedience movement spread all over India. The movement in the northwestern region was led by Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan, popularly known as the Frontier Gandhi. Several women were also active in the movement under the leadership of Sarojini Naidu. Prominent leaders of the Salt Satyagraha campaign in Kerala were K. Madhavan Nayar and K. E. Maudu Moidu Maulavi. The major centers of the Salt Satyagraha in Kerala were Kodikod and Pyrenur in Kannur. The breaking of the salt law was organized in Pioneer under the leadership of K. Kelapen. Muhammad Abdurrahman and K. Krishnapillai, who led the salt satyagraha at the Kodikot beach, were injured in the police lathi charge. The salt satyagraha fanned the flames of the freedom movement among the people of Kerala. The British government decided to suppress the salt satyagraha by all means. Thousands of people, including leaders like Gandhiji, Nehru, and Jahala Nehru and Subhash Chandra Bose, were arrested. Dramatize the major events of Salt Satyagraha. Guruva Satyagraha. The Gandhian principles of social reconstruction was also a part of the freedom movement. With the aim of creating an egalitarian society, the eradication of untouchability and attaining freedom of worship were also made as a part of freedom struggle. Guruvayur Satyagraha, organized in 1931 in Kerala, was one of such initiatives. The trustee of the Guruvayur Temple, then the Samorin, rejected the then Samorin rejected Gandhiji's request to open the temple to all Hindus irrespective of caste. In protest, K. Kerapan went on the hunger strike before the temple. K. Krishna Pillai and A. K. Gobalan also took up the leadership of the Satyagraha. Satyagraha that began with the moral support of the Gandhiji resulted in securing of all Hindus the right to enter temples. Ambedkar and Pune Act Dr. B. R. Ambedkar was prominent among the leaders who set out politically empowered the depressed classes in India. He recognized that the liberalizations of the depressed classes can be made possible only through the participation in administration. He participated in the Roundtable Conference and asked the British government to involve the depressed class in administration as a remedy of their social backwardness. Roundtable Conference A British government organized Roundtable Conference to discuss issues related to India in 1930, 31-32. Dr. B. R. Ambedkar participated in all three conferences. Gandhiji took part in the second one. The British government reserved separate electorate for the depressed classes. Sensing that the separate electorate would alienate the depressed classes from the mainstream of society, Gandhiji decided to protest by fasting until death. To resolve the issue of the political right to the depressed class, Gandhiji and Abedkar met and reached a consensus to give up the separate electorates and to increase the number of reserved electorates for depressed classes in the legislature. Agreement This agreement 1932 is known as the Pune Pact. Quit India Movement The Quit India Movement was a remarkable mass movement against the British government. The movement was launched in the All India Congress Committee session held at Bombay on 8 August 1942. The session demanded the British to hand over all administrative powers to the Indian and Quit India. In his speech, Gandhiji urged the people, Here is a mantra, a short one that I give you. You may imprint it on in your heart and let every breath of yours give expression to it. The mantra is do or die. We shall either free India or die in the attempt. Many Congress leaders were arrested. Gandhiji and his wife Kasturba were imprisoned at the Aga Khan Palace in Pune. Kasturba Gandhi passed away on 22nd February 1944 in prison. Her body was criminated in the jail compound itself. Aruna Sifali and Jay Prakash Narayanan went underground and led the Quit India movement while in hiding. Gandhiji described Aruna, Aruna Sifali as the leader of Quit India movement. Protesting the arrest of the leaders, countrywide hotels, black days were observed and processions were organized. 
this protest gradually turned into rebellions railway stations were destructed trains were set on fire government offices were burned to ashes remnant um, uh, communications and broadcast facilities were destroyed workers boycotted factories and the students quit classes the british suppressed the movement brutally in india the quit india movement began with the hartal on 9th august 1942 Many leaders of the Hartha, like MP Narayana Menon, K. Kelapani, Moidu Mauluvi, A. V. Kutumalu Amma were arrested. We observe 9th August as the Quit India Day. Salt Satyagraha 1930, Dandi March in Gujarat. Chronically arranged the events related to the freedom struggle as Dandi March 1942, Malabar Rebellion 1947, Vikram Satyagraha 1930, Quit India Movement 1921, Non-Cooperation Movement 1924, Chauri Chauri Incident 1920 Subhash Chandra Bose and Indian National Army Subhash Chandra Bose believed that India's independence was not the charity of the British but was to be achieved through struggles Though his famous proclamation give me blood and I will give you freedom Subhash Chandra Bose urged the people to fight against the British He took over the leadership of Indian National Army founded by Rash Bihari Bose Ultimate aim of INA was the liberation of India. Over the Azad Hind Radio, Subhash Chandra Bose addressed Mahatma Gandhi, India's last war of independence has begun. Father of our nation, in the holy war of India's libera- liberation, we ask for our blessings and good wishes. Gandhiji described Subhash Chandra Bose as Netaji. The slogan Jai Hind in the contribution of Subhash Chandra Bose. INA and Carelites Captain Lakshmi A. Kerlite was the leader of the women's wing of INA. Vikram Abdul Qadir was another Kerlite who joined INA influenced by the ideas of Subhash Chandra Bose. At the age of 26, he was executed by the British government. Read the letter he sent home the night before the execution. My dear father, I am leaving you forever. My death will be before 6 in the morning tomorrow. When the clock strikes 12 tonight, it will be the death knell that marks the first moment of my last day i will die between 5 and 6 am on friday the 7th day of ramzan respected father doting umma my most beloved brothers and sisters i have no words solace for you i am leaving you all don't mourn me you will indeed be pleased when you come to know from the eyewitness how bravely blissfully and peacefully i died you would definitely be proud of me Let me conclude your beloved son Muhammad Abdul Qadir. Vikram Abdul Qadir was one among the many martyrs of freedom struggle whose courage and patriotism continues to inspire us. The British suppressed INA's effort to attain freedom by means of armed struggle. Come by the table that is Champaran Satyagraha Satyagraha took up the peasants issues agitations against exploitation by the British. Muhammad Ali Jinnah and Pakistan demand We have earlier discussed the formation of All India Muslim League. A session of the Muslim League was held at Lahore in 1940. The sh- session was forward the demand of the formation of Pakistan incorporating the regions having Muslim majority. Muhammad Ali Jinnah urged argued that the Muslim League is the sole organization that represented the Muslims in India and hence deserved consideration akin to the pro- provided to the Indian National Congress. The British government encouraged the activities of the Muslim League as a part of the divide and rule policy. Lord Mountbatten was appointed the new viceroy, worked out the compromise after lengthy discussions with the leaders of the Indian National Congress and the All India Muslim League. He declared the British India was to be participated and a new state to Pakistan was to be created along with the Free India. The Indian Freedom Movement is an unparalleled mass movement in the history. Gandhi ji could unite different sessions of the indians against the british with the peaceful agitation based on the ideas of truth and non violence gandhi ji's leadership was able to uproot the british rule that lasted last for many years the dawn of freedom on the midnight of 14th august 1947 jawaharlal nehru announced long years ago we made a thrust with the destiny and now the time comes when we shall deny our pledge not folly or in a full plush measure but very substantially at the stroke of the midnight hours when the world's world sleeps india will awake of life and freedom a moment comes 
which comes but rarely in history when we step out from the old to the new when an age ends and when the soul of a notion long suppressed to find utterance it is fitting that the solemn moment we take the pledge of the dis- dedication to the service of india and the people will st- still our cause of humanity jawaharlal nehru became the prime minister of india free india on 15th of august 1947 the dream of a nation had come true summary the third phase of the indian national movement 1990 to 1947 is known as the gandhian period the leadership of gandhi ji played an important role in converting the indian national movement into mass movement truth and non violence were the basic ideas of the gandhian movement non cooperation movement civil disobedience movement and quit india movement were the major mass movements organized by the indian national congress under the leadership of gandhi ji in kerala vikram satyagraha and the guruvayur satyagraha were organized as a part of eradication and untouchability the indian national movement featured several strategies with different from that of the gandhian movement under the leadership of ina subhash chandra bose organized several activities with the aim to achieve freedom by means of armed struggle india won freedom on 15th august 1947 and british india was divided into india and pakistan so that's all about reading this chapter understood please do like subscribe my channel okay thank you